happy Thursday. Here, Avery's with me today. We're going to be doing a fun project to go along with our dinosaur week that we're still working on. So I thought today that we could make some fossils, Avery. Fossils, do you know what a fossil is? Well, fossils are an imprint or print that's left over in mud or dirt and what happens is that mud or dirt hardens and gets really really hard and gets covered up by other materials so that they've been able to stay for thousands and thousands of years and then people nowadays have uncovered these fossils and we have used them and scientists have used them to learn all about things that used to be alive but aren't alive anymore. So they're a really cool tool that scientists have been able to use to tell us all about dinosaurs. So I thought today we could make our own fossils. And I have the recipe and a picture of some fossils that I'll show you right now. And then we'll get started on our project. Here is one of the coolest fossils ever found. It has the entire dinosaur on one single fossil. So it shows the entire dinosaur in one fossil that someone found. Pretty cool, right? You can see all the different parts of this type of dinosaur. And here's one that has some shells. See the swirls? It looks like the shells we might find on our beaches, but these are prehistoric dinosaur shells. This, these shells were around the same time as the dinosaurs. And here's a footprint. See, you can see it was probably a dinosaur walked in some mud and then the mud hardened. And here we are a long time later and we can see what this dinosaur's footprint looked like. And then here's a fern. That's a type of plant. We have plants that are ferns. So look what the dinosaurs were eating and munching on. We see them today. Maybe in your backyard, you have some ferns that you could make a fossil out of. Okay, so let's go back to our project now that we know what fossils look like. So that was really cool to see some real life fossils, right? And now we're gonna make our salt dough to make our dinosaur fossils. So we're gonna need two cups of flour. So we put one cup of flour in already. Avery, can you put another cup of flour? And while Avery's doing that, we also need one cup of salt. So when you're measuring, you're going to make sure you measure all the way up to the top. So we're going to put in the salt. And it's going to go to the top. So we're going to need a little bit more here. And then we're going to combine these in our bowl. And Avery, you can get started on mixing. And then we're gonna add half a cup of warm water. So while Avery is mixing, I'm gonna go get some warm water in there. Okay, so I have our water, so I'm gonna pour it in. And we're gonna keep mixing while we pour. And this is how to make salt dough. Salt dough is really easy to make with ingredients you have at home usually. So you can use it for ornaments. You can use it to make all kinds of things. So we're gonna mix that in really, really well. And then we'll get started. So friends, we're mixing our salt dough here. Before I said you don't have to bake it, you actually do. So we're gonna set the temperature to the oven to 250 degrees. And they're actually gonna bake for about an hour until they're nice and sturdy. So we have our salt dough here. Now we're gonna take a ball of it. So to make a ball, you take some in your hand and you smush it together and you're gonna roll it, roll it, roll it. And then you're gonna flatten it out and it looks like a little cookie. If you have a circle cut out, like a cookie cutter, you can also use that. But with fossils, and they come in nature, they're usually not perfect. So I'm just gonna make our balls kind of wonky. Now, if you have plastic dinosaur figures at home, you could put their feet in it, 
or you can lay them down on the side. I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. So here I laid the dinosaur down on its side and left some little footprints. Eerie, what are you gonna do? Lay it on its side. And then you're gonna lift it up and you're left with... Oh, it's sticking. Okay. You're left with the imprint of the dinosaur. I have to push mine in a little bit more. And if the dough is a little too sticky that it's not leaving a nice imprint, you can add some more flour. So let's add a little more flour to ours and then we'll come back and make a couple. Okay, so we added a little bit more flour to our salt dough. So you can always do that. If it's getting too sticky, you add a little bit more flour. So we're gonna make our balls again. Smush them down so it makes a little flat ball. And then you can take your dinosaur piece and either do it on its side and it leaves an imprint. It looks like a little fossil or you could do some footprints. You can see the little footprints and then you're gonna put it on a cookie sheet with some parchment paper underneath if you have it or some tin foil. So Avery, that one looks cool. You wanna show them that one? Cool. All right, let's make a couple more. And you can, if you have a straw, you can even poke a little hole in the top to make an ornament or you can hang it up in your room. So here's another one. I also found a piece of a fern because a lot of times they would find fossils of plant material. So let's see how this comes out. Ooh, you can kind of see it. So when you bake it, you're still going to be able to see the shape that was in your salt dough. So it's gonna be like your own little fossil that you made. The other thing you could do is a shell. The fern wasn't working so well, but you can see the imprint of the shell in there. And that's something that scientists would look at to see what types of animals and living things were alive a long time ago. So here's another shell. I'm gonna put it on its side. And then there you can see the little swirl of the shell. So that's our salt dough um, ornaments. And now we're gonna put them in the oven for about an hour and see how they come out. So fresh out of the oven, here are our salt dough fossils. They came out great. You can really see the shapes left behind, the imprints left behind from our dinosaurs and our ferns and our shells. And we even put some tea leaves. You could use coffee grinds too, and some of them to look like dirt. And it really came out great. So I hope you guys have fun making your fossils. And for now, we're going to say bye from Avery and I. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye.